July, you guys. Can you believe it? We're getting ready to start reading July in Moinetta's Diary. We have come so far. So let's get into it without further ado. Yay. All right. Open her up. Love it. Okay. So did you watch the roundup of June? Because if you didn't, I suggest it. It was pretty short. All right. Here we go. July first. I'd like to, I would like to get a better one day. I'll have a better setup. Anyway, July 1st, and we're talking about a Wednesday. Fine, beautiful day. Holiday. Probably in Canada. I I forget sometimes that she's in, she was in Canada, not United States. Okay, Lillian and Phil had day off. Lillian went to Dorchester at night with Ima. Ina? I went down to Sadie's. Oh, in the morning. I thought it said with mommy. And did some stitching. Mrs. Frazier went on afternoon and had dress shortened up front, uh, uh, in the front. Lillian gave Sadie a, a hypo. Uh, I don't know. And Varna phoned. Mrs. Frazier, not well all day. Poor Mrs. Frazier, like, she has been ill a lot. I think almost all of June she was ill. Boy, 11 years old, drowned at Fandy Park, struck by a car whose brakes went bad and was knocked into the water. Oh no. This month is not starting off so good. Bless his heart. Oh my goodness, that's horrible. Oh my goodness. All right. We'll see if I can find anything in the roundup for that. Wow, July 1st. Okay, let's move along. July 2nd. Fine, beautiful this morning. Mrs. Frazier went downtown in the morning. I went over to Varna's after dinner and she gave me two trout. Ooh, cooked one for supper. Yes. Mrs. H was in during evening, had lunch. Lillian had to work. I, I could like some trout. I love fish and I'm, you know, I don't believe I've ever had trout. Sorry, I just dropped things on the floor. Okay. July 3rd, rained during night and very heavy in the morning, then cleared. Hot in afternoon, Mrs. Frazier left little after 9 a.m. with her relatives for and, uh, Anderson. We'll be back, not we'll, we'll be back Tuesday or Monday. I washed, I washed out a few things. Lillian went to a shower at night. Mrs. H was down and stayed until 10.10. <sighs> she kept me company. <laughs> she, I love that she writes, she stayed, she didn't just write, she stayed till, you know, 11. She could have just wrote it. It's in her diary. But she wrote 10, 10. She didn't write 10, not 11. She wrote 10, 10. That's adorable. Kept me company. Uh, when she left, I laid on the couch downstairs until Phil at 20 to 12. Then I went to bed. In the morning, I went up to bank and uh, got margarine yeah got margarine meat and strawberries gave mrs h a dish at night and some bread 
Okay, very nice, very nice. Love it. And we know that Moinetta loves strawberries. Okay, July 4th. Cold and windy. Washed my sweater sheet and pillowcases. My sweater sheet and pillow. I don't think that says sweater. Who knows? Went into Sadie's and stitched uh, him on pillowcases, then down to Dixon's. Barbara Hopper married some today. The Browns all went to wedding. Sadie went to picnic at Casey Cape. Okay, maybe that'll be in the roundup. July 5th, fine and little cooler. Oh, yes. Um, a beautiful day. I walked to church and home. In the morning, Mrs. So-and-so from, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> After supper, I went down to see Sadie. Henry and Mabel came over. Perry and how do you were up during afternoon, came home at 10, 10, and went to bed, but wouldn't get to sleep for hours. Huh. Don't you love those nights when you can't fall asleep? Um, I like that she wrote, I came home at 10 to 10. Okay, July 6th. Fine, beautiful day. I washed some of my dresses and got them ironed. Varna phoned. Her throat is some better. Ray went up. I was just thinking, wasn't she just sick? But I, I don't, I think it's been a while. Remember when they went fishing? Anyway, okay. Ray went up to the something school to take the summer course. Mrs. Frazier got home, uh, not home yet. S Iris, Belle, and Sadie were in a while during the evening and Varna came as far as, no, as far as track and brought me some rhubarb. I don't know what that says. Mrs. H brought me a dress to mend for, for her. Okay, no more rhubarb. I thought we talked about that, Moinetta. All right, July 7th, raining, heavy showers until noon. Then cleaning, I mended Mrs. H's dress. She was in a few minutes in the afternoon on way to the doctor's. We had her, he had her report Mrs. Frazier got home about 6 p.m., brought me a dear little pitcher, glad to have her home. Lillian had to work this evening, and I wa washed my hair, caught rainwater. Oh, oh, I wonder if she washed her hair with rainwater. I don't know. Why would she catch rainwater? Okay, did if you've ever done that before, washed your hair with rainwater, let me know and why. Is there is there, you know, benefits to that other than being not treated by I mean maybe back, maybe back in the 50s. Now, who knows. Okay, July 8th. Um beautifully fine. Mrs. Frazier is washing Joe's birthday. I was exhausted all day, talked with Verna. Mrs. H is on way to church. Lillian and Mrs. Frazier went to um, Lindsville to a shower for Mrs. Thomas. I didn't go. Um, alone during evening, they got home before 11 p.m. and she underlined it. <laughs> Our something meeting at the church. Oh, missionary meeting at the church. July 9th. Raining some this morning. Mrs. Frazier
coin signed. I don't know. I went up to store and ran in to see Mrs. H. Stopped raining. Mrs. Byron called while I was out, said her mother was there. I went over in the afternoon and stayed until 4 p.m. Mrs. Frazier went downtown in the afternoon. A man came to fix spring on door of oven. Mrs. H. was in, and Sadie was up for a while. You see her writing. She's doing pretty good. It's much better. Um, and maybe because things are not as crazy like last month. It was just so crazy. Oh, I spoke too soon. <laughs> I spoke a little bit too soon. That looks... Okay. July 10th. Fine and hot. I don't feel very well when hot. Me neither. Just got word that Minnie Almond had fallen downstairs and was taken to the hospital. She was to have had the group tonight. Mrs. Frazier is having group here now on place in place of Minnie's was down to Sadie's and had strawberry shortcake for supper. Yes. Mrs. Frazier hand or hard something group. 14 members I believe. We pay, uh, we paid over dues yearly a dollar thirty and then she wrote down what each person owed okay july 11th very fine mrs frazier went up to dominion um for afternoon mrs frazier and lillian went to church to see francis s get married in the evening we all including sadie and she had underlined all, went up to Carnival at Edith Carroll School to see the men, what? The men ducked. Cecil Peak, Herschel Wood and others came home very tired after 11 p.m to see something men ducked? What does that mean? I don't know. Okay. All right, July 12th, fine. A beautiful day. I went up to church in the morning and heard um, Miss, Mr. Mac Williams preach. Good. I walked home alone, rested a while, then had my dinner about 2 p.m. Phil went to Andover with his cousin Fred Frazier is now taking his birthday or faking his birthday has to be taking very weird okay so Phil is related to Andrew oh no sorry Phil is went to and and Anderson and over Phil went to and over with his cousin Fred Frazier so Phil is the Frazier is she related to Mrs. Frazier by marriage I don't know the questions we will never get I'm sure all right July 13th fine and warm Mrs. Frazier washed then went downtown with Lillian who was taking bus to someplace at 20 to 11, came home tired out. I felt badly all day. Aw. Felt. It looks like it says hi. Heat. Felt heat. In the afternoon, I went to see Sadie sick all day Sunday. What? 
but feeling, oh, Sadie was sick all day Sunday, but feeling better. Uh, a and Johnny arrived at Varma's about 5 p.m., had supper. They, they then went over to the store, to the cottage. Sure. Sure. Uh, Varna phoned, also Arva. An evening, Mrs. H in a while. Then something bell came. Mrs. Frazier served lunch. Very tiny, just little tiny, tiny writing. Okay, I'm going to try to do two more pages and July will have to have its own because there are 31 days and it looks pretty busy. Okay, July 14th, Tuesday. Fine this morning and a little cooler. Mrs. Frazier ironed. I went up on St. George Street to Shara's office and paid three dollars on Monument. Herod's. Did they? No, that is definitely not a D. So I don't know what the Monument is. Hmm. But um, she actually remember last month with the parade. It was on. George's Street. Well, it in on the map quest it said St. George's Street, and I assumed that was probably the same one. And here she writes St. George's Street, so sounds like it was correct. Um, gave Mr. L bag stamps. Paid Mrs. S five dollars on cemetery. Oh, got five dollar check from Francis at bank nora something went to dominion and got two boxes of strawberries see she loves her strawberries and so she's paying on a monument now it seems like the monument does that say cemetery no it does not so the monument it must be related to a cemetery and um you know so Obviously, that must have been related to something that happened prior to this, the beginning of this diary. Huh. huh. And it also seemed last month that she said something, somebody was advising her to do something for her rental. And I wonder, because there's, um, I wonder if she has a home that she's renting out. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't know. Okay, last day, July 15th, rained all the morning. I did up two boxes of strawberries by, by cold method. Mrs. Frazier went downtown this afternoon. Lawrence McFadder called in the morning from Kingston and something is take me up to the something at night. <laughs> in afternoon, Johnny and Arna from Belmont called to see called to see me about 6 p.m. Jean, Arthur, and Otta arrived to take me to the I do not know that night. About nine. They came back for me, so I went up with them. Okay. I don't know where she was going, where they picked her up to take her, but that is July 1st through the 15th, and let us close it up, and I hope you join me on the next one. Let's close it. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. Bye. Bye.